How's it going everyone? It's Sam. I want to talk to you about the next penny stack that I just bought. It's one that's speculative, but it's been moving up a lot. I think the one day, the one month, and uh, the three month, or whatever, whatever metric you look at uh, is pretty much up on this penny stock. It's up to 15 cents a share. It's up 20% today. And so many people had reached out to me about it. I found that it was finally time to make a video on it. Take, uh, take some time, research the stock. And it's an interesting one. I actually bought some of it today and if you stick through to the end I'll tell you how much I bought what I'm gonna do whether I'm selling it or when I will sell it when I would buy more all that kind of stuff so I'll tell you that at the end uh, but before we do that if you guys don't mind just hitting the like button I appreciate that please hit subscribe too I'm trying to get this to you as quickly as possible so I'll try not to ramble too much I'll try not to edit too much either because I think getting this information out to you fast is more important than anything else also i want to hit on the fact that if you guys want some free stock there's a link down there to weeble you can get four free stock if you deposit a hundred dollars you know if i've made you any money or if you've made any money after watching some videos i'd love for you to be able to help me out and sign up for weeble there's a little bit of time left where you can do this they allow you to trade before the market and after the market opens and if you want to get on in on these a little bit earlier I tell my Patreon right when I buy it. So if you want to join the Patreon, there's a link down below. Uh, we've been correct in so many stocks recently. I think we we bought TRXC at a dollar and three cents. It went up. We sold it at a dollar seventy-seven. We got into BNGO at a dollar twenty-five. We bought into HAP and went up ten percent just in a day. That one was a little bit smaller, but uh, you know, with all these. I think we're making good money and I think you can cover the cost of your Patreon just in a day or two. So many people reach out to me about that. So definitely consider it if you want to join that. You can join about 3,100 other people in there. So the company we're looking at today is Cloud Commerce. Now I bought in at 15 cents just straight up off the bat so you guys know. It's a really interesting company. Take a look at the five day. It's up from less than a penny five days ago. And if you look at the month, uh, it's same thing. It's been up a lot. Now, this is speculative. Of course, do your research. I'm not a financial advisor, but I just want to walk you through what all the hype is about. So looking at the website, there's a lot going on here. What do they do? So they take a collaborative approach to everything they do, employing the specialized strengths of their team to define markets, refine messaging, and deliver that information with accuracy. We fuse data with with creative content to ignite an emotion in our audiences to take a desired action. So basically what they do, if you break it down, is they're a marketing company. They provide uh, a solution for a lot of companies and they look at what their clients want. They look at the best way to engage with them, the best way to get uh, good viewership, and they go out and push that design. So they've helped Re redesign a lot of different companies. You can kind of see they have an AI system that is supposed to cut some costs and I'll hit on that in a second because that's the big news this week. But their proprietary audience building solution swarm is powered by advanced data and behavioral science, artificial intelligence and market research techniques. Now, the difficult thing about this company right now is there isn't a lot of data on it or there isn't a lot of information. So like for for example with this page this is their website if you click on one of these links it just brings you down to a different part of the page it doesn't have a ton of information there's not a huge investor page or anything like that i'll show you some articles though that i found to kind of give you an insight into the company so what they do is they take these companies they reimagine them so for example star insurance uh, has their full website redesign and overhaul with this company with cloud commerce they built a custom or we built custom audiences and a digital market campaign to communicate directly with decision makers and generate leads as someone that's kind of in the advertising space i mean obviously that's how i make money on youtube i i totally understand this because for me one of the most frustrating things is to be working and working and working and you know, people reach out to me with sponsorships and just to weed through those and see if any of them are worth my time, see if they mesh well with my company, see if I can get a decent rate to make it worth my while. That's one of the most annoying things or one of the most time intensive things that 
a lot of the time doesn't pay off. I might go through a hundred people that want to do a sponsored video or part of a sponsor or something, and I don't get anything out of it. So if they're able to do this well and help connect their clients with different advertisers or with, with their clients, I think that could be huge. Now, they have a lot of different explanations for this. So if you want, you can see how they did it with different companies. But right now, there isn't a lot of information on this. So if you go to their investor section, they have a couple of frequently asked questions, but they don't have too much on the company, on their financials. Now, they've been around for over 20 years. Something that I found interesting was that they were ranked 235th among the fastest growing companies in North America on Deloitte's 2019 Technology Fast 500. They were ranked 300th on their 2020 ranking. So they are growing quickly. If you don't know Deloitte, it's a very well established company. Uh, so I looked it up. I looked up what this meant exactly. And they they had a very quick growth rate. So cloud commerce, commerce grew 345%. Between I believe 2017 and 2020 or something like that. So they they've been growing very quickly, and they've been now recognized twice by Deloitte. So they expected, and this is back in June, they were expecting revenue to exceed 14 million, and this does not include any political uh, money. So that's something that a lot of people were wondering this year because so much money was thrown at politics. Now. Stay through to the end because, again, I'll tell you what I bought. I'll actually tell you the real number, actually. I usually don't do that, but I'll tell you the real number, kind of my thoughts on it. And I want to give some shout-outs to a couple people at the end. So stay through to that because it's it's going to be important. Now, something that came out this week, about five days ago, was that the company will use AI to enhance its, its successful Swarm solution to cut advertising costs by as much as 50%. They say our Swarm solution has has met with great client success, which has encouraged us to take the next step using state-of-the-art tools such as AI to eliminate inefficiencies that could potentially reduce the cost of advertising advertising by as much as 50%. Now, this might be a little bit too good to be true. I don't know at this point. There isn't a ton of news on it, but there is a lot of hype behind it. So I, I personally invested... Now, just to be clear, I did not invest a ton of money by any means. Uh, if I look at my total portfolio, and I'll put that actually up on the end screen with another video, my total portfolio reveal from a week or two ago or something like that. I have about 75000 in the market. I invested a small amount into this. I'll just be honest. I invested, I bought 1,000 shares. Now, for me, this is this is something that could go up pretty quickly, but I'm not willing to risk a lot of money in it. I already have money in a few penny stocks right now. So I'm not really willing to risk a ton of money, but it's something that I find interesting. I want to I want to track it. I want to be able to see what it does. And I do think it could push up because it is still under a $100 million company. So what I'm doing is if I can turn a quick profit, if I can, if it boosts up to about $22 or 22 cents a share. If it went up to $22, I'd be a very rich man. If it went up to 22 cents a share, I'll probably sell out. Unless it continues to go up and I don't see any hints of a reversal, then I'll hold on to it. But if it keeps on going up, I'll hold it. If it goes down to 10 cents, I'll sell it off. Just because I think the hype will have lost, unless they have some good news that I haven't heard of now, or if I hear more information, you know, this is always gonna change. My viewpoints always change. So again, if you wanna know exactly what I do with this company, you can check out my link down below to Patreon. I realize this isn't a lot of money for some people. I realize this is a ton of money for other people. So do your research, do whatever you feel comfortable with. If you are planning on investing, I'm not a financial advisor, so do your own research. Now, I wanna give a shout out because I know someone personally that covered this way before I did. So shout out to Tyler Hill. He he talked about this a few days ago on January 8th. Since then, it's moved up a ton. So if you just look, and usually I don't give too many, I mean, I give a couple shout outs, but uh, not too many. If you look, since he talked about it, it's gone up 500%. So definitely go subscribe to Tyler. He's killing it right now. Also want to give a shout out to Jason because he just started as a moderator 
on my on my uh, Patreon. So shout out to him. If you want some NNDM news, if you want to see anything else, you should definitely go check him out too. He's also hitting some of the penny stocks just like Tyler. So check them out. And then I have a couple others because, you know, I like to spread the wealth a little bit on, on shout outs. Million Dollar Stock Trader is someone that is in my Patreon. He He's not like, he didn't ask me to do this by any means, but he bought the company that we bought today. So not this company that I'm talking about now, but uh, he bought STPK about a week ago. And I talked about it today. I think it's about doubled since since he talked about it. And he's someone that just started on YouTube, but he's a very successful guy. And his premise is he he always has a million dollars invested in the market and he'll bring new stocks to you every day, every couple days, uh, just to show you what he's buying. So he's he's starting to gain traction a lot. I mean, he's grown a lot quicker than I did. If you take a look at his channel, he's only got 11 videos, but he's got 641 subs. Definitely go check him out, great guy. And if you want to see my brother-in-law, so <laughs> this is actually uh, something that he just started. He started Financial Success, the channel, and he actually picked out Backed. He talked to me about it pretty early on. You should definitely go check him out. He just started his channel. Definitely go throw him a sub. Uh, he's going to be making more videos too. So I want to spread the wealth with these four people. You know, if you want to go check them out, definitely do that. I'll put links to their channels down in the description right after Weeble and Patreon. So you can definitely go check them out if you just search for them. But uh, definitely check out Patreon and Weeble too if you want to help out my channel. But thank you guys so much. I, I want to take a second and just say thank you for everything that's going on in the channel. I think we're doing a lot of good. We're making a lot of money for a lot of people. A lot of people are excited to be investing. And I just want to remind you, uh, first of all, I want to say thank you. I want to remind you though to keep a level head. I think a lot of people are getting really excited at the market and maybe they're not making a long-term decisions weighing risk and reward right now. So I just want to remind you, penny stocks won't always go up 500% right after we buy them or 200% or 100% or 20%. Uh, so just keep a level head. Make sure that you're weighing risk and reward. That's why I'm putting you know a few hundred dollars in these penny stocks turning a quick profit. I'm getting proof of concept. I'm getting proof of concept. So when I see something that I really, really like, like a BNGO, I mean, I it's easy to look back, but hindsight's always 2020. But BNGO, I felt a little bit different, I feel like, than some of these other penny stocks that we've still been making good profits on. But BNGO just felt different. So the next time we see that, we will have proof of concept. Hopefully we can jump in a little bit heavier of course, do your own research. I'm just here to give you the information that I know and that I'm researching. So thank you guys. I appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. If you want to see my full portfolio, you can check it out here. If you want to see the other stock STPK that I bought earlier today, you can check out this video here. Thanks.